All right, now that our mist is simulated, and I step back to frame 245, just to show you here that what you're seeing here is the mist. And don't be afraid that it's looking that, that blocky here. Um, this is, in real flow, we're using a very uh, low quality. This is uh, particles, and this is, um, this is not the way it will be looking. At, we're looking on a final render. Don't be afraid. Uh, this is just something to to show you how the mist will be will be looking. That there is mist and where the mist has been placed by Rillflow. For example, here in frame 300, it's looking a bit a little bit differently there. But you can see there is mist. Mist has been created, and well. Everything's fine with mist. <laughs> Everything's fine with mist. Um, mist has been created and everything's fine with mist so far. Um, now we uh, that we have our mist, we need the final additional element to complete a hybridio simulation. Hybridio, this is the, the term for all the stuff that is uh, behind this menu here. This is the grid domain together with uh, the the splashes, the foam, and the mist. This all together is hybrido. And um, now we need the foam. Uh, we call foam is in real flow when what will be created when a particle when the particle of the the wave of the splash touches the surface of the grid fluid domain. Then this particle is taken and transformed into foam. Um, for, for the foam we can use pretty much the, the defaults here and we will not uh, use the bounded foam because we, we, we um, want to have foam all over a container want to have it created all over the container and we ha don't have a, a specific area where we need more foam or more detail or whatever so um, we leave it pretty much like it is um, I will change the min and max lifetime because this is in seconds and um, my animation does not last sec 60 seconds <laughs> so the minimum is uh, 5 and the maximum is uh, 20. That's because um, when I did my test and was simulating with mist, um, I experienced that some of that there was so much foam um, over this whole um, thing. It was looking as if someone has uh, put some chemicals inside there. Um, so uh, that wasn't looking nice anymore. <laughs> I leave. Let's leave the, the rest pretty much at the default. The radius threshold 0.1. This was this was also important. So if you want to know what these uh, well values are standing for, make um, press F1 when they're selected, and you will be seeing that. Read the help, and um, yes, <laughs> we have the, the foam, and we'll be putting the foam in our in our grid fluid uh, group, of course. Uh, what we can do. Um, I already did that. What we can do now is um, that we have our mist. Set this mist from active, as it was, to inactive. We we really do not need the the mist in the simulation for anything anymore. So um, we do not need RealFlow to read the cache and a a anything. So it can be inactive, and that's it. So the foam, and make sure that the foam is connected to the grid fluid domain, of course, and create a known phone, a foam hub. Add the K volumes. Can add the the whole group to it, and. Do not add gravity. Not, never ever add gravity, because the motion of the foam is 
calculated by the motion of the grid fluid domain. If you added gravity, um, this would, as you can see here, um, adding gravity would uh, make the foam sink. And, well, foam that sinks, uh, well, we cannot use foam that sinks. We, could, we don't want to have it. <laughs> we don't want to have it because we will not be seeing it on our fluid surface anymore. Uh, another thing uh, I've seen right now, oh my god, mm, you could see that uh, the that there was a serious amount of particles under this uh, area here, so probably you should be adding another k volume field in order to speed up your simulation when simulating uh, the splash. I just missed that all right now the we've been adding of foam node to the grid fluid domain. Um, we've set the mist to inactive. The um, splash is uh, set to cache and the grid fluid domain, oh, I forgot setting the grid fluid domain back to cache. And if the grid fluid domain is set to cache, then you should hit the go to frame zero again, hit the simulate button, and yeah, wait until the film has been simulated. And let's see what we have then. <laughs> 